What's swagging players? It's your boy Stax Montana, man. Back out here on this NBA 2K19. Let's go. Uh, we had a fire my park event today. It was high key crazy, but it's called Court Conqueror. And I got my boy Wimby, I got my boy Rain playing this thing now. I'm gonna give y'all some advice on how to win each game, beat each team. There's six teams, and one of the teams are the Rockets. So yeah, we gotta go up against the Rockets. Now it was crazy because we beat the Rockets in the very first try. Like it took us one try to beat the Rockets, and immediately we strapping up this man James Harden. Now I wanna give you a little bit of advice here. When you go in on this court conqueror, I just want you to know that the difficulty is set at a level above Hall of Fame. And if you lose or win, either one, it still goes against your park record. Bro, I took like like six L's out here, bro. I, I gotta keep it real. I took six L's out here. Like I only had 29 losses to start the day. And I ended the day with like 35 losses. So yeah. But we did end up getting done what we had to get done. Like I said, one of the game plans against the Rockets is to go ahead and abuse the fact that James Harden is a bad defender. You got to go at James Harden neck every single time. As far as defense goes, man, my only advice, and this is for all of the teams, high key, bro. You just got to try your best. Try not to help too much because you're not going to be able to get rebounds if you're worrying about helping somebody else's man. You got to be focused on the rebound if that's not your man scoring. Like, help if your guy can't shoot, if you're going up against somebody that can't shoot. But other than that, bro, you got to get them boards. Now, like I was saying, uh, go up against James Harden, bro. Um, another thing that I realized inside of this game mode is two positions that you kind of need. You need a post score. You need some positions that could go one-on-one -on -one whenever you need them to. So a post score is definitely needed, okay? Um, another position that's needed is a sharp. You need somebody to hit threes. Just like my boy Raindale. You need somebody to hit them threes, dog. Because if you're not hitting them threes, trust me. Stuff like this is going to happen. Stuff like that that you cannot control. You have no control over. You cannot stop it from happening. All of that type of stuff is going to be happening. So you're going to have to try to clamp all of that up just by just simply just <laughs> I don't know bro just play some defense but we ended up beating the Rockets like I said uh, it only took us one try now to beat the Rockets let's go over it again uh, play uh, abuse this man James Harden's defense you know what I'm saying play to the fact that this man James Harden cannot play defense and uh, also make sure you're hitting your threes hit your shots because you know the Rockets like to shoot a lot of threes now another team that was out here was the Golden State Warriors and once again bro we beat them on the very first try as well uh yeah it, it was kind of dope we beat them on the very first try uh me Rain and Wimby you see Wimby is a post scorer Rain is a sharp I'm a playmaking shot another build that can go one on one if necessary and they got Steph they got Clay they got Kevin Durant on this team bro like just straight yo just straight cheesing dog but you know, we got to come through. We got to come through clutch. We got to do our thing. And another thing we were doing to beat the Warriors, we was isolating my man Wimby as the post scorer on Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant could not stop Wimby at all. And we just going to go ahead and reset, let my boy Wimby get into better position. Let him body that man Kevin Durant. Step back, pull up. That's a bucket. And, yeah, we simply beat those guys. Another thing we was doing, du running double screens. Rain come around it. Rain shoot the three. And Rain usually knocked it down, but it's all good. He missed it that time. But they double teaming right now. You see they double teaming? If you can get a team to double team, bro, you in the money. My boy Wimby wide open for the mid range. He knocked it down. But like I was saying, if you are killing them, like one person is killing them too much, you're going to get double teamed. And once that happened, you should be straight. Because once you get double teamed, look at this. Look at this wild stuff. Even would have made that, bro. But like I was saying, once you get double teamed, what you want to do is each person go to the corner and the person that's getting double teamed stand at the top of the key and press L2 to go into the post. Now, once you go into the post, they're going to instantly double team you. Instantly. And once that happens, you know, you just got to make the right read, the right passes. 
to go ahead and get the bucket, the easy score. We ended up winning this game. Now, I'm going to keep it real, bro. A lot of these games did not involve me having to do much. Like, literally, a lot of these games, I didn't really have to do much. I just had to space the floor and play defense for my squad. But other than that, Wimby was isolating and Rain was coming around them double screens, knocking down the shots. Make sure you check out Rain channel. Link down below in the description. His jump shot was crazy. Now, once again, this is crazy. We beat the Celtics on the very first try as well. We went ahead and beat the Celtics. And you see they got Al Horford. They got Gordon Hayward. They got Kyrie Irving. And for us, we still got the same guys. You see Al Horford is a two-way superstar, bro. Two-way superstar. So we had to play this one a little bit differently, though. We had to just, like, try to figure out a way to to play this without, um, without, without, without Wimby having to ISO uh, in the paint. So we was, like, trying to figure it out. So then we went with the old... Double screens at the top, and that's what we ended up running. Like I said, on defense, man, you just got to try your best to just do something. As you can see, my man Wimby tried to help with Kyrie, and Al Horford dotted him with the three. Now, like I said, for this game, we tried to run them double screens at the top. Again, this is why you need a sharp shooter, because my boy Rain was sharp shooting. Bro. Rain had that thing on him at all times, you feel me? But like I said, remember that this is a level above Hall of Fame. You see they doubling my boy Rain because he was killing them coming around them double screens. We won the game easily. I had zero points. Didn't have to do anything but grab one rebound. But that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with getting carried. I just want to be a court conqueror. You feel me? Uh, but like I was saying, um, uh, yeah, make sure you, you, you stay with your man on defense. They're going to be hitting so many shots. It's going to be annoying. I promise you. Any layup they attempt, they they, they, they going to make it, bro. Like I said, it's a level above Hall of Fame, so you got to know that shooting is going to be tougher and playing defense is going to be a lot tougher because you're going up against NBA superstars. Next court, the Philadelphia 76ers. Joel Embiid is a two-way star, but Al Horford is a two-way superstar. All right, I get it. Uh, J.J. Redick and Ben Simmons. Now, obviously, the thing for this game is whoever is guarding this man, uh, J.J. Redick, you got to cook him. You got to cook him. It ain't no if ends, or buts about it. And J.J. Redick was going up against me. So I had to go ahead and cook this man, J.J. Redick. Was isolating him, spinning out the post, getting the buckets, man. That's exactly what you got to do to beat the Sixers squad. And uh, we didn't even beat these guys on the first try. It took us like one, I think one or two tries. I feel like it was only one, I mean two tries to beat them. Like we lost to them once and then we beat them the second time we played them. So, yeah, we figured out that isolating this man, J.J. Redick, was definitely the wave. So that's what we went ahead and do. We setting screens. Get your boy got the ball at the top of the key once again. Isolate this man, J.J. Redick, and go ahead and spin up off him. And like I said, you got to wait for that double team because once that double team start to come, you got to start to read those passes well. You see your boy stopping at the top of the key. Everybody going to the corner. I'm isolating. And then see what I'm saying. Once you go ahead and go in the post, they're going to double team you. You got to find your teammates, and they got to hit the shot, bro. That's all I can say. They got to hit the shots once the double team come. Once again, the double team came. We almost lost the ball. I almost sold my squad, bro. I almost sold my squad, bro. Joel B sold his squad, for real. I don't know how he missed that, but I'll take it. I needed a few seconds to go ahead and reset. We did it once again. And I knew I wasn't going to try to score. I was waiting for the double team. Rain in the corner with the burner. Like I said, my boy Rain was hooping for real. I finished this game with 10 points. I think four rebounds and two assists or two assists and four rebounds. I forgot which one. But we end up beating the Sixers on the second try playing them. There are two more courts to go. And one of the courts was the Wizards courts, which we actually beat them on the very first try as well. The Wizards, man, it was kind of tough, but, you know, being that uh, this man Dwight Howard cannot shoot, we was able to sag off of him. They also got uh, Bradley Bill and uh, John Wall in this game. So, yeah, you got to watch out for that because John Wall jumper was, like, high-key elite, like, like highest of the keys of elite. So, you got to watch out for that, man. This man, John Wall, was making a whole bunch of crazy shots. But, you know, like I said, it's all good. Because we all we came into this game with a game plan. And the game plan was to try to run those double screens again. 
because we can't really isolate Wimby with Dwight Howard because he's like an elite rim protector. So we can't really do that. You see your boy with the block. He got the ball back. Put like I said, bro. If they attempt in the layup, you got to just go ahead and count that as points. Unless you block the shot and get the ball. Other than that, they making every layup they attempt. We running those double screens. My boy Rain came around that thing and hit the shot. And that's really how that game went. We were trying to get my boy Rain the ball. You see Rain trying to ISO they so they could go and double team him. They passed the ball to me in the corner for the three. I went ahead and knocked it down and got the bucket. So like I said, if you can't. Get your mans to double team you. That is like the easiest way to win, bro. Like you got to have just one guy going crazy on the court so they can double. And then, you know, you just got to play off of when they come to double team. You just got to make the right play. The last court. And by far for us, I don't know how it is for anybody else that played this. By far for us, this was the hardest court, bro. Like the Timberwolves had the hardest court. Like we could, bro, we could not beat the Timberwolves. It took us a few tries to actually beat these dudes but you know it finally came through we finally beat these guys and for this we was like all right should we run the two double screens at the top we had to quickly cancel that we tried that a couple of games it didn't work uh so what we ended up doing was isolate Wimby on this man Carl Anthony Towns wait for the double teams and then make the right play out of the double teams you feel me so that was our plan we wanted to go with double screens at the top for Rain to come around and shoot the three but this man, Jimmy Butler, he played way too many clamps for that. Jimmy Butler was not having any parts of that. And, uh, yeah, he wasn't even hitting any of the screens, bro. Jimmy Butler must got diamond pick dodger. So we went ahead and isolated my man, Wimby. You see Wimby going to work right there, giving this man nothing but the buckets. And once again, you see we going to these corners. We waiting for these guys to double team. Wimby going to post. For some reason, they kept double teaming off a of ring as if he didn't have that thing. And once again, we win. And finally, bro, finally, finally, we conquered the courts. We did our thing. We was finally able to win, bro. I was I was actually happy and excited, dog, that we was able to win this game. It was honestly tougher than I thought it was going to be. But once I checked Twitter and found out that it was on a level, a difficulty higher than Hall of Fame. Like, Hall of Fame, you already know how it's playing. How the defense is on Hall of Fame when you play my career, bro. It's on a difficulty higher than that. And in the midst of us playing as we was getting double um, rep and double VC. And your boy got 98.3%. So I will be hitting 91 overall super soon. But after that, we got the dub. And I'm like, yo, once you win, you're supposed to get 25k VC. You're supposed to get a badge. And I see that icon chooser. So I clicked on it. I equipped my icon and yeah, Court Conqueror. So now I'm walking around with the YouTube logo and letting people know I conquered the court. Let me know down below in the description. Um, I'm asleep. Down below in the comments, if you was able to conquer the court, let me know down below. How did you play? Did you run the double screens? What archetypes you used to go ahead and get the W? Uh, but yeah, we got the badge. I got my 25K VC. And I also got an Andrew Wiggins, like the green Timberwolves, Andrew Wiggins jersey to go along with it. Uh, was it worth messing up my record for? I, I, I'll say yeah, because I got a nice little badge that not everybody is going to have because not everybody tried to play it or not everybody was able to beat it. So I guess it was cool. Um, I also got some dubs for it as well. But hey, this your first time watching the Stacks Montana video, man. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you want to see more My Park videos, uh, go ahead, drop a like on it for me, and I'll definitely keep posting more. Until next time, though, real fans, stay up and I am out. Swag team, bruh. Zombie gang, cuz. We conquered the court, let's go, let's get it. Conquered the court, let's go, let's get it. Yeah.